in this lecture we are going to study different theories regarding the organization of apical meristems there is always a controversy regarding growth and development of apical meristems of root shoot and flower and their differentiation intensive studies have been uh, going on since 19th century and today we are going to discuss the summary of some of the theories which have studied and proposed by different scientist till today <clears throat> many theories have been put forward from time to time to explain the earliest structure of the meristem there are four important theories in connection with the organization of apical meristems such as apical cell theory histogen theory tunico corpus theory and corpor cape theory out of these four we are going to discuss three first three theories apical cell theory histogen theory and tunico corpus theory okay then let us start with the apical cell theory this theory was proposed by hof mister and supported by nageli in 1858 according to nageli and hof mister the apical meristem is composed of single apical cell this view is only applicable on bryophytes and some pteridophytes and some higher algae for example fucus dictyota sargassum etc and the presence of complex growing apices in higher plants cannot be explained by this theory so therefore this theory is not applicable to the higher plants as their complex structure of their apical meristems this theory is most applicable to lower plants like thallophytes algae fungi bryophytes and many bryophytes showing simple structure of the apical meristem and it is supposed that similar conditions exist in higher plants too so this theory is proposed by nageli uh, hofmeister and nageli but most of the scientists opposed and they said that this theory is only applicable to the lower plants not to the higher plants due to their uh, complex structure of their apical meristem so this was about apical cell theory second is histogen theory and this theory is proposed by hanstein in 1870 according to this theory the apical meristem is composed of different zones and each zone consists of a group of initial cells called histogen or a tissue builder according to hanstein shoot apex and root apex are distinguished into three meristematic regions or three layers of histogens these are dermatogen periblem and pleurom so so dermatogen is the outermost single layer of cells these cells form single layered epidermis by anticlinal division periblem is the uh, periblem is this region periblem region is situated just below the dermatogen and it forms cortex that is hypodermis general cortex and endodermis whereas pleurom this is the innermost region mind still formation takes place by division of these cells it means formation of pericycle vascular bundle spith rays or medullary rays and pith uh, this theory is only true for a root apex according to him it is not applicable for shoot apex of higher plants because in most of the gymnosperms and angiosperms shoot apex does not have distinct differentiation of three layers 
so except above described three histogens a fourth type of histogen is also present in monocotyledons monocotyledon root apex this is known as calyptrogen root cap is produced by calyptrogen in monocots root cap is produced by uh, dermatogen in dicotyledons due to presence of root cap position of root apex is subterminal so maximum growth in root takes place behind the apex third is tunica corpus theory, theory. this theory was proposed by simit skimit 1924 this theory is applicable on shoot apex according to this theory two types of layers are found in the shoot apex tunica and corpus tunica is peripheral layer epidermis is formed by this layer in tunica cells anticlinal division takes place only in one plane anticlinal division occurs at right angle to longitudinal axis of cells which when division when division occurs in single anticlinal plane they do not increase the number of layers generally tunica is single layered but sometimes it is multi layered then the outermost layer forms epidermis and remaining layers form rest type of the tissues system with the association of corpus corpus is the mass of cells present below the tunica the cells of this zone divide in all directions means in many planes due to which volume increases it forms rest of the tissue system so the tunica is composed of variable layers of cells this zone gives rise to epidermal tissue system of the shoot whereas the corpus zone is composed of large and irregular cells these cells divide in any direction and finally gives rise to almost all tissue systems of the uh, stem except the epidermal tissue system okay uh, so to conclude the uh, theories explaining apical meristem there are uh, three theories basically apical cell theory histogen theory and tunica corpus theory apical cell theory was proposed by hofmeister and supported by nageli in 1858 the formation of shoot, uh, shoot apex from a single superficial cell this is known as apical cell and apical cell is the structural and functional unit of apical meristem this theory is applicable in algae bryophyte and pteridophytes and not in phanerogams or in higher plants then comes histogen theory it was proposed by hanstein in 1868 the theory is applicable to both shoot and root apex apical meristem is differentiated into three zones outer dermatogen it gives rise to epidermis or epiblema in short in root sorry epidermis in stem and epiblema in root middle periblem it gives rise to cortex and innermost pleurome it forms steel and vascular tissues in root apex there occurs one more histogen it is also called as calyptrogen that is responsible for the formation of root cap this theory is not accepted because there exist no dermatogen between three different histogens in shoot and root apex this was the last part from unit 1 with this part we have completed the unit 1 from next lecture we will start with the new topic from unit 2 so we will stop here